What's going on guys? Berg's back here for another one today. A new dip for you. And this is going to be a Longhorn Long Cut Peach. And before we go any further, let's get a look at the can presentation. Um, so like all Longhorn cans, you've got an all plastic can. You've got the color orange for peach, you've got Try Me in uh, a yellow outline on there. Uh, taking a look at the side label, it's a little bit squished because you've got Try Me on here again. Um, LonghornSnuff.com, get coupons. Pinkerton Tobacco Company, Owensboro, Kentucky. Sale oil out in the United States, at least 65% domestic. Moist Snuff, LonghornSnuff.com, 1.2 ounces. Uh, the code on the back, J168, um, it's been a little while since I've had a can of anything Pinkerton, and I'm kind of drawing a blank on the code, I think it's, it must be expiration date with them, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, would be October 16th, 2018, Possibly, um, I will double check on that. If I don't make a note of it, assume that's correct. <laughs> um, I really haven't dipped Longhorn in probably a year at least. Um, probably more than that. Whenever I finish the rest of the series. However, um, I got an email just a couple days ago that they had just come out with Longhorn Peach Long Cut and Wintergreen Chill. Um, so I, I expect this probably to be like Timberwolf, but we'll see. Um, okay, yeah, off the bat, similar. Um, I remember Timberwolf kind of smelling like this. Smells pretty good. Okay, it's not very, it's not as fruity as, say, Skull. There's a tobacco scent and a peach scent. Um, so we'll see. Okay, full can. A little bit taken out of the top, but not much. Um, looking at the cut, okay, it's characteristic of Longhorn. Um, not exactly the best. It does seem to pinch together, but I can tell looking at it, it's not, not quite up to the standards of others. One thing I will say, I can tell, um, this is very fresh. Um, very moist. You can tell just by the moisture on the end of my hands um, that is very fresh. You know, one one of the problems that I ran into a lot during my time of reviewing um, essentially was that brands besides, you know, especially Copenhagen Skull, um, because they've got the date actually printed on there. A lot of these budget brands that don't use a, you know, for, full date printed on there, and it's a code, I, it seemed like time and time again, um, I would come across expired stuff. And yeah, okay, maybe not that many people are buying Fine Cut Natural or whatever, um, but I noticed it a lot with these budget brands, and it really kind of got to be annoying after a while. Um, you know, when I was trying to give something a fair review, and I'd find out the can is expired six months or whatever. But um, anyway, point being, this, you know, for for as far as I remember, Longhorn, this is very juicy, um, very moist, very fresh. And it almost seems like the tobacco is a little bit better quality than what I remember. Um, that that may or may not be the case. It could be due to the the increased freshness. 
um, and moisture that it's all clumping together a little bit better um, or due to the fact that I've, I'm now used to Grizzly whereas when I first was reviewing a lot of these I was I was more interested in Copenhagen and Stokers which are obviously longer cut a little bit better cut um, so it could be a number of things um, Stoker's uh, 2016 mud jug. Um, so yeah, I would say overall the cut is actually pretty good on it. Um, better than I expected. So nicotine, I don't expect to feel anything. Also, I should probably mention I forgot all about it now, but my, my um, experiment of a tolerance break uh, that I made the last video on was not quite a failure, but I only made it about uh, somewhere between seven and ten days, which was better than, you know, not bad, but I, I kind of wanted to try and take it a little bit further, but I, uh, uh, I caved and, um, essentially was like, well, whatever. <laughs> um, I had a dentist appointment, they said my, everything looked great, keep up the good work, and, um, in keeping up the good work, I thought it would be uh, appropriate to dip some Grizzly Wintergreen um, uh, that evening. So, uh, that's where I was at with that. Uh, however, back to this. The peach flavor is really good, actually. Um, I'm pretty impressed by it. Way back in the day, fucking 2014 or something, is when I liked um, Skull Peach uh, more so. Um... Yeah, I haven't dipped any peach in a long time, so it, it could be that the fact that this isn't quite as overpowering of peach flavor uh, that I that I do enjoy it. Um, it it's definitely a, a little more mellow. It's not not as sweet and a little bit more tobacco tasting. Really similar to Timberwolf. Um, you know, it, it's tough for me to remember. Timberwolf peach now because it's been probably two years um, However, I, I would say at the moment this seems to be a little more favorable to me than Timberwolf so Once again, it could be because this is an extremely fresh can. I mean um, I only heard You know, I only got an email that this came out a couple of days ago, and I found it today. So uh, they probably literally just got it off the truck. Um, but yeah, I, I'm pleasantly surprised by it. Um, the price was a little bit more than I intended to pay. It was $2.99. Um, which, even with our increased dip tax, $2.99 is a bit high for Longhorn. I can see, I see it for a dollar less than that. However, um... I saw the peach and, and wanted it. Um, so, you know, I, I got, I got a little bit, uh, uh, you know, could have done better if I shopped around, but whatever. Um, for those of you not familiar, Longhorn is considered a budget brand. Um, typically, uh, maybe half the price of Grizzly, I guess. It would be a fair estimate. Um, so, in all, I would say this is very good. I'm going to rate it a 8 out of 10. Um, go ahead and pick it up if you haven't. Uh, I'm also excited to try the Wintergreen Chill when I get the chance. And I finally got back to the store that had Java Chews. Um, I've got the Wintergreen, and I've got the French Vanilla, which are the remaining two I need to do. I did try out the French Vanilla, and I, I do like them. Um, however, I'll get a review out on those. Um, in the meantime, uh, shout out to Dirty Pat Walsh, um, Wayside Lee 83, Winnington Outdoors, which is full review. Um, trying to think if there's anybody else, uh, not, not coming to mind at the moment, um, if you would like a shout out, please let me know. I'm probably going to try and get these Java Chews videos done this week as well. 
Uh, so let me know in the comments and um, hopefully I squeeze you in there before I film these. Um, I know I, I've been pretty busy lately with everything and haven't gotten videos out like I used to and combined with the fact that there's simply less to review and um, um, I would have picked up the Copenhagen cans but as you know um, I'm not exactly too favorable on them at the moment so I probably won't won't bother with that and um, I also never got around to getting the other grizzly um, fish cans because I, I really don't like grizzly straight or mint um, so you know it might be a waste to go ahead and do it I'll, I'll decide if I go ahead and get those or not um, but other than that I think that about sums it up for this one uh, that about does our business here uh, so if you enjoyed the video leave it a like leave a comment subscribe if you haven't already and uh, check me out on social media, especially uh, Instagram, Snapchat, both at abergs95. That's really what I use. Uh, so check me out on there. And I'll see you next time. Take care.